the probability that event A will occur is 0.76. Remember, 0.76 as a percentage is equal to 76%. So we can say the probability of event A is equal to 0.76, which is equal to 76%. Next, what is our probability in decimal form that event A will not occur? Event A not occurring is called the complement that event A will occur. And since there's a 100% chance event A will occur or won't occur, we can determine the probability event A will not occur by taking 100% and subtracting 76%. But we're asked to give the decimal form, and therefore we will subtract 0.76 from one, which is a decimal form of 100%. So we can say the probability of not A or A complement which we indicate with a bar over the A, is equal to one minus the probability of A, which is one minus 0 0.76, which equals 0 0.24. Remember 0 0.24 is equivalent to 24%. Next we're asked, what are the odds for event A, which means what are the odds in favor of event A? And remember the odds in favor of an event are equal to the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of unfavorable outcomes. So because the probability that A will occur is 76%, this indicates there are 76 favorable outcomes out of a total of 100 outcomes that the event will occur. Let's record this below. There are 76 favorable outcomes out of a total of 100 outcomes, again because their probability event A will occur is 76%. This also tells us the number of unfavorable outcomes must be 100 minus 76, which is 24. And now the odds for event A, again, are equal to the ratio of the number of favorable outcomes to the number of unfavorable outcomes, which gives us a ratio of 76 to 24. Let's write the ratio in fraction form because we can simplify ratios just like we simplify fractions. The greatest common factor between 76 and 24 is four. And therefore, to simplify, we divide both by four. 76 divided by four is 19. 24 divided by four is six. The simplified ratio for the odds in favor of event A are 19 to six as a fraction, or using the word two, or using a colon. Before we go to the next question, though, let's show how we could have simplified this ratio on the T84. If we enter 76 divided by 24 and then press enter, this will give us a decimal form which we don't want, but if we press math enter enter, it will give us the simplified ratio in fraction form. And for the last question, what are the odds against event A? Well, if the odds in favor of event A are 19 to six, then the odds against event A must be six to 19. which would be the ratio of the number of unfavorable outcomes to the number of favorable outcomes, which would be 24 to 76, which was simplified as six to 19. I hope you found this helpful.